I think the most important thing for landowners who are considering a restoration project is to know that there's a lot of help out there. Uh, we are the private lands branch of the Fish and Wildlife Service, and our focus is working with private landowners to restore habitat. Uh, it's their project. So the landowner is voluntarily stepping up to address a declining species and help to recover an endangered species, and that's a, that's a special thing. Without the participation of these landowners, we couldn't accomplish what we're trying to accomplish. The Roanoke log perch is a fairly endangered species. Uh, they were listed in, in, in 1989. Several reasons why this occurs, things like dams coming into their habitat. Dams are very beneficial, but they also have an impact. Invasive species can become a problem, uh, but one of the most insidious things is, is just water pollution. And water pollution comes in many forms. Point source pollution, which is typically from factories or, or, or outflows, uh, and, and that's relatively getting well managed. Uh, the other issue is non-point source pollution and that doesn't have a specific source. It, it can come from a wide variety of areas. Anything that, that can cause runoff from the land into the water can, can cause a problem and that causes sedimentation into the water and that mud lays on the stream bottom and on the stream bottom you have that the gravel where these animals spawn and if the animal has eggs laid in that gravel that, that sediment lays over that and suffocates the eggs. It may only kill a few of the eggs, but over time, it's gonna cause a decrease in that population. We were asked to come in and to basically provide alternative water for the other pastures, to allow the rotational grazing and to get water where it's not necessarily been in the past. When we create the fencing to exclude the streams, we create a buffer along that stream. And that buffer is designed to filter out the pollutants and keep them from reaching the stream and allow the buffer to uptake the nutrients and the sediment to settle out. So it benefits the aquatic system greatly, basically creating better habitat for our aquatic life and our aquatic ecosystem. We've been doing a lot of research with the Roanoke Log Perch over the years, and it's found in the Roanoke, Nottoway, and Dan River systems. Well, the Log Perch is approximately six inch long, bottom dwelling fish, a benthic species. It's an endemic, meaning it's only found in these areas. Primary habitat is these fast flowing sections of what we call runs and ripples. It does not have an air bladder, which most fish have, so it stays on the stream bottom, has very large front fins. Log perches in general have a very unique behavior in that they, they go around and they flip rocks with their snout. This particular project we have a situation that we see throughout the valley and it's not singling out a few landowners it's really historic land use and a lot of that goes back to unrestricted livestock um, so there's been a lot of work that's been done in terms of riparian enhancement and restoration and, and in-stream work. What we're really trying to do here is create the conditions for the system to recover and it takes time. So the call to act is now to keep funding these programs so we can continue to make our soil and water and our air cleaner for future generations.